Hello, you are welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you some important devices and instruments in the automation industry that we need to know as we are learning automation. I have talked about most of them in my previous videos and you are going to see them practically such as actuators, compressors, conveyor lines and so on. Let's watch this video about industry factory 4.0 sorting system. Fisher Technique Learning Factory 4.0 illustrates processes for a digitized smart factory from delivering raw material to the finished product. Industry 4.0 applications can be tested and demonstrated using the simulation model that has already been set up. Digitization activities are simulated on a small scale and learned before they are used on a large scale. The training and simulation model demonstrates the process from the delivery, collection, and storing of the materials through the ordering and the manufacturing processes to delivering the finished product. The training factory industry is controlled by a PLC controller, a Raspberry Pi as IoT gateway, and a TXT controller. The PLC program controls the individual modules of the factory. The program is written in structured text. The PLC communicates via the standard OPC UA protocol with the Raspberry Pi, which acts as an IoT gateway to connect the factory to any cloud. The program on the Raspberry Pi is implemented in Node-RED. In Node-RED, there is an additional local dashboard available, which can be adapted to your own needs. The Raspberry Pi also communicates with the TXT controller via the standard MQTT protocol, which in turn enables access to the Fisher Technique Cloud. The program on the TXT controller is executed in CC++. A sensor station measures air pressure, air quality, temperature, humidity, and brightness. The default process cycle begins with storing and identifying the material. Using RFID NFC technology ensures that the material can be digitally traced. The integrated NFC tag stores production data that can be read out via the RFID NFC module. The cloud displays the parts color and the ID number. The vacuum gripper places suction on the material and transports it safely to the high bay warehouse. The first in first out principle applies to outsourcing. The goods that were stored first are also the first to be removed. Ordering material is triggered online on the dashboard. The desired product and the corresponding color are selected in the customer view and then placed in the shopping cart. Customer specific production takes place in lot size one. The production process is simulated in two steps. The suction gripper passes the material on from one step to the next. The material is transferred to the sorting system once production is complete. The sorting system receives the allocation command as soon as the color sorter detects the proper color. The material is sorted using pneumatic cylinders. The production data is written on the material at the end of the production process. The finished product will be provided for collection. Fisher Technique Learning Factory 4.0 is ideally suited for education and training in vocational schools and companies, for research and teaching in colleges and universities, for development projects in IT departments, for production planners, 
and for demonstrating in-house software solutions at trade shows and other corporate events. The customized storage and transport case is a worthwhile add-on. I am preparing to go on the field to perform some works. So I'm going to show you the instruments and devices and components that we use in our company. I work there as an instrumentation and control engineer. This is chemical room where we have motors, drives, sensors, flow meters, HMI, a lot. This morning I was going to perform insulation resistance test on some two motors. Therefore, I opened the panel to check the motors that were working. So, I isolated some motors by turning off the circuit breakers. So, we have PLCs, drives, relays, a lot in this control panel. I inspected the status of the motors, flow meters and other components before I proceeded to conduct the test. There was an error or alarm on the HMI which I had to reset. We monitor and control all the machines, all the devices, the instruments using the HMI. This is an overhead crane or hoist. We use it to lift heavy materials. Every morning I test the status of it whether it is working or not. So here I was testing to see whether everything is okay. It moves up and down, left and right. You can see it. It is a forward and reverse system. Some of my subscribers asked about the practical application of forward and reverse. So you can see from here, this system is a typical forward and reverse. It moves up and down, left and right. I am conducting a solution resistance test on this motor. You can see the cables are three. And then this is the earth cable that I am removing. Yes, you can see the cables, they are three. And then the earth cable. They have already started three cables inside the motor and brought only three to the terminal block. You can check the video I did on insulation resistance test. I explained all these. This is a monthly test that we do in our company on the motors to ensure the integrity of the windings resistance. I am fixing a bolt to the body of the motor where I will connect one lead of the instrument and then the other lead to one of the faces of the windings. I am now setting my test voltage. So I have injected 500 volt DC into the windings of the motor. Now the readings show that the insulation resistance is very good. On the meter, I got 5.5 giga ohms. I am doing the second test. You can see 5.5 giga ohms. This test is very important to ensure the effectiveness and integrity of motor winding resistance. I have already made a video on how to conduct insulation resistance test. This test that I am doing here. 
I've already made a video of it in my channel. You can go and watch that video. Over here, I removed a faulty instrument. It is a metering instrument that helps us to see the voltage levels. And also, it works with the air circuit breaker we see in the panel. Every morning, we go around and inspect all the machineries. This is air compressor. This is a flow meter. It measures the flow rate of the water. We are inspecting our heavy duty motors that lift water to a higher distance. We have motors, actuators, valves, etc. We rectified a problem on our two compressors. They were not working, but we were able to rectify the problem. Now I was testing to see if they were working. Those are the compressors. The compressors air. This is a sequential system, three motors that works one after the other. I and my team built this circuit. I think I have the picture of it on my Facebook page and also in my flyers. This is an actuator or a valve that is being controlled by a three-phase motor it has a problem by not opening and closing when we press on the open button so i had to troubleshoot why it was not working later i was able to do it i and my team these are plc models and relays so all the processes that are going on in our plant the plc does that this is a slat conveyor. It is a type of conveyor used in industries. So over here, it is conveying some materials. So those of us who haven't seen conveyor before, this is a conveyor, a slat conveyor. It helps us carry materials from one point to another point. So I've been talking of conveyors in my videos. So this is a type of conveyor, slat conveyor. This is another type of conveyor. It is called ruler conveyor. As the material reached the point, a sensor sends it and then the chain conveyor came up and it shifted it that direction. This is the slat conveyor I talked about earlier. The same thing here. You can see motors attached to these conveyors. They are all gear motors. So as the motor operates, the conveyor is also being operated. These conveyors helps us convey materials in our industries. In the Industry Factory 4.0 video, we saw pneumatic cylinders, color sensors, temperature sensors, and etc. We are going to learn how to connect all these components in this channel. So if you are new to this channel, then kindly subscribe.
in order not to miss any video. See you in my next tutorials. Thank you.